What's going on everyone, Metal Raymond here, and welcome back to Group Ironman, episode number 87 for you all. Today we're, today we're gonna do a big ass mashup of a ton of different things, such as opening a bunch of urns, I'm not quite sure, but I do believe we were doing a bunch of skilling urns in this one, just to burn out our skilling, uh, skilling points. Also doing a bunch of Warcraft, uh, teleport farming, getting a new blessing, a bunch of different things, and of course, a hell of a lot of demonic gorillas as you guys know i've been very steady on that grind of doing them every single day because i want more and more and more and more imbuing stone and charms anyway enough rambling today we're doing a 50 dollar bond giveaway if you want to enter that giveaway all you need to do is of course subscribe to the channel like this video comment your name down below and turn on the post notifications if you don't know that you enter the giveaway i wish you all the best of luck on that if you're new to Runex and you want to try it out for yourself, please do use the link at the top of the description. It helps me out a ton if you do. And of course, make sure you join the uh, Runex Discord and my own private Discord, the Metal Squad. The links for the both of those will be in the description down below. With that being said, I really hope you guys enjoy this episode. Let's hop right into it. Just now noticed I had a few of these urns in my bank laying around. I remember that I didn't have the plank for this one, so I figured I might as well do that real quick. Skilling task token, oh my god. And I have a few more of those urns as well from one of those uh, collection logs, I believe. So let's quickly see if we can open all of them or not. Plenty of supplies, just depends on what it is. Frozen dragon bones, no biggie. I have plenty of those. Bada bing, bada boom. Deposit it all. Point boxes, two epic crystal keys, and three skilling tokens. Okay, okay, okay. Uncut diamonds. Uncut. Ah, oh, I hope I have enough. Yeah, just barely, man. Deposit it all. Killing equipment box, okay, what do you get from that? Pyromancer Rogue, who's fire making experience by 5%. As if I would ever do that again. Good one game, nice joke. Tin ore? Tin, out of all the potential ores, you give me tin. How the fuck am I supposed to have tin ore? I'm gonna drop that, goodbye. There's no way I'm ever getting a thousand tin, I don't think anything drops tin. If it would have been coal or iron or anything like that, it would have been fine. But tin? Old logs, there's another one of those, like what? Oh well, you're lucky I have it, game. Ironically enough, three point boxes. I wonder if there's a certain difficulty attached to it for how many items you get out of it. Cut diamonds this time, do I have cut diamonds? Yes I do. Okay, last one. See what we get from this one? Oh my god, an ancient skiller tome? Oh wow, that's 5,000 rune coins? What the hell, bro? I didn't... Uh, what, what does this do? <laughs> I have no clue. Ancient skiller tome, is it just rune coin value or does it actually do anything? That is crazy. Tome, I do have a few of them. Skiller tome 5? What the hell does this do? You can only wield it? What does it do? Alright, now I can see what it does. Increases gathering speed for mining, woodcutting, fishing, gets 20 plus 20% 20 chance to receive crystal keys with a one in or uh, one and a half chance, one in two chance to uh, upgrade them to uh, epic crystal keys. I, I would rune coin it. I don't give a flying fuck about skilling, let alone freaking crystal keys. Like I've never done a skilling task or anything like it. What do you use them for? It must be like a certain purpose or something, right? Huh, I don't know. Interesting though. Well, no one is replying to my question about what the hell the uh, shards are used for, but bought a few more urns just to see if we can get lucky again. Uh, cut rubies this time. Surely I have. What? I don't have cut rubies? Alright, a bit of cutting later. Boom. 1k rubies done. Oh, that is awful. Just awful. Let's see if we get luckier on the second one. Eight more to go after all. Mithril bars, I totally should have that. No way I don't, right? Thank God. Goba had some to spare to finish it off. A mystic lamp and one bag of tokens. Not what you're doing it for. Let's see the next one. Give me some more froze bones and shit like that. Cut diamonds again. Thank God I have plenty of those for multiple. A skilling equipment box, this time for a prospector helmet. Okay, okay. Getting some nice skilling outfits here, I suppose. Roast dragon bones, beautiful. Roast. Like, that is nice and easy. I can look those up very quickly. Boom. Another skilling box for an angler. This time the fishing part. Okay, I see, I see. Pretty cool. Next. Tin ore again. Get the f Bronze bars. Do I have those coins eventually? No, I don't. That sucks, man. The, the lowest tier items are, like, the hardest one to get. Because that means I would have to actually go out of my way 
to make them, and I don't want to do that. Like iron bars, easy man. Those those get dropped by plenty of stuff. Garbage. Adamant bars should have those plenty. 7.6k, of course, of course. Mm, kind of garbage as well. And then we have one more urn to go. Opal, uncut opal out of everything. How the hell do you get opal in this game? Man, there's no way I would have a thousand of them. That's a shame. Didn't get any other really special things, but you know, some fun little items along the way. And the ward itself, or this killer stone, is definitely a very nice one because it's 5,000 rune coins. All right, I should have enough juicy items for a nice little rune coin exchange right about now. It's a little bit under the max, but should work out just fine. I can miss one guardian accessory and stuff. 23.3k, give me the daily. It is doubled, hell yeah. I was not expecting that. Armadale helmet and Vandal Tessets. More rune coin items to save up now. I think I'm gonna go to the Monix in just a few minutes again. Try and get some more Z Knights, I suppose. Ha ha ha, so much fun. I really don't enjoy doing demonics, but it is what it is. At the very least, a little, uh, you know, bright, bright line on the horizon would be the fact that we're, uh, Closing in on the legendary tickets for the uh, legendary blessing, so I'm looking forward to that at the very least. Hopefully, Halloween event comes around soon as well. I would love to uh, farm some more of that. All right, gonna go ahead and do one more attempt on the you know what ring. Still haven't gotten it. I can't believe it. Attempt number I don't even know, but quite a few. Oh, I just got a Xena shark and a uh, superior, both right after one another. That is sick as fuck. Let me kill the regular ones first real quick. Grab an epic luck, that's sick as hell. Come on game, give me the ultimate dream. Three Xenite shards, nothing? What? It didn't even use my epic luck, Wh huh? What? It's that time again. On the Xenite we got way earlier, than quite a few kills after it. Haven't seen a second one yet. Completely out of uh, luck tokens now. And another fill, beautiful man, 10% my ass. Number 16 down the drain, and I've heard of a lot of people who are even more dry than I am, so... Hope is incredibly low. Like, you gotta imagine, man, 16 stones, right? 16 times 5, roughly 80,000 rune coins wasted. Sure, I might have had a few imbuing stones here and there instead, which saves a little bit of rune coins, but... Goddamn, bro. Alright, this time without someone else's cannon bugging out my fucking superior. Give me three Xenites, please, game. I would really appreciate that. Come on. A die for me. Three Xenites on the floor, thank you very much. Sad life. Ah, man, yeah, you hope every time, you know. Oh my god, boys, we got another one. Xenite charge. Fuck yeah, this is gonna be attempt number 17. Once I, you know. Favorite. Yeah, thanks Kristoff, you know what's up. Time to lose another one. Ha! Getting a lot of Ballista pieces though. I mean, two more springs, one limb, and quite some frames I think. Yeah, three light frames more. Crafted my first Ballista yesterday, which was the first one I've ever created in, um, well, a lot of Gorillas, 1.8k KC at the moment. It's going to be 10 number 17. 0 out of 16, do you believe that? Good luck, good luck, Incuing crystal, 10% chance and failed. Okay, well, finally finished my uh, daily spawns and my task was done. Timed up quite perfectly, I do have to say. Bringing us to 246k legendary tokens. Just 4k off, probably gonna get that tomorrow once my spawns are renewed. Alright, we're gonna do the imbuing stone anyway. Let's see, I think that is number... 18 if I remember correctly. I don't do these every day, you know, so it's kind of hard to keep track from the top of my head. Let it be! Failed again, number 18. Alright, we done and did it at last. Took a little while because I haven't been that diligent in my dailies, but the uh, legendary blessing, 250,000 uh, legendary tokens. My god, gives 7.5% drop rate boost in all donator zones. That is so juicy. Does it actually go up? Yes, it does. Beautiful. 163.9% now.
All right, first period of the day. Just woke up and I, the daily had reset. Watch my daily spawns. Nothing good from that one, unfortunately. Whoa, we got another one. Like literally one spawn later, four kills and we get another one. Damn, getting a lot of luck on these superior spawns. Just not as much luck on the actual, you know, killing of them. Let's see if this one gives us what we need. Give us three Z Knights, please, game. Here we go, good luck. Come on, three Z Knights, please. One in 250 drop. Come on, I need it. My god. Wow, we get ourselves another light frame. I didn't have enough of those. Thank you, game. I appreciate that. Look, there's my tab of suffering. <laughs> Yeah, pretty cool. Son of a fucking bitch, another heavy frame. Oh my day. Where are the Z Knights, man? I didn't get one all day yesterday in 300 spawns, or at 300 kills, 75 spawns. We're almost halfway to our uh, today's spawns and we still haven't seen a single Z Knight. Really hoping I don't go another 300 kills dry. Well, get fucked, my spawns are completely over now and not a single Z Knight once again. Very, very unlucky. <sighs> So yeah, what is next? I honestly got have no clue what I really want to focus on or do at this current point in time. I do have a few fake ideas, so to say, but yeah, maybe, 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 maybe Mage Arena Revenants. Kind of want to do Revenants to get more effort, but it's fucking always packed, you know? There's always people there, which just makes it a little bit tricky. Also kind of want to go ahead and grind crests, it just sucks that we don't have luck tokens, or at least not a lot of them. Grind crests are just a reliable way of gaining both rune coins, potential imbuing stones, xenites, all of that. And on top of that I would love to get our second... Ah, what's it called? God damn, I can't find a word. Uh, second crest bear leg, so we have a second set. Because we have to keep trading it over and over and it's just a little bit annoying, not gonna lie. Hmm, unsure. Alright, gotta go ahead and do a little bit of mythic zone. I wanna unlock some shit here. Activate my one hour of Slayer XP and Brimstone keys in here. I wanna get this one first. Zone upgrade scroll permanently boosts drop rate in all donated zones by 2.5% for 100k tokens. And then aim for the Horn of Ethereal and just start saving up a bunch of those. I could give less of a shit about the mythic halo to be honest. I'm not gonna waste 20 e corp horns on something that's simply cosmetic. Not worth my time. Uh, I am gonna be killing uh, Revenant Dragons as usual. God damn it, I just activated the scroll, but I'm on the wrong prayer, so that's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, yeah, let's hope we can get some juicy Vorkav scrolls and such, and then we'll start saving those up for a bunch of Vorkav camping in the near future. Ding, 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 the Brimstone Hour is officially over and let's go ahead and have a look at the loot. If you look at my inventory right now, you can see I got a decent chunk of dragon items along, which is very nice. Dragon plate legs and skirts add up for sure. I actually want to make a little tab for these because I want to be able to keep track of those three specifically a little bit better. We managed to get a Fissage, but not only did we get one Fissage, we got two Fissages, one in 2000 drop rate on that one. Seven Brimstone Keys during the hour, only three four Calf Teleport, which is a little bit of a letdown. 15,000 Mythic Tokens, almost close to. Not bad at all, I mean, it's adding up, but for one whole hour. Could have been more if I had been a little bit more active, to be honest. But yeah, all together, pretty damn nice. Gonna leave the Vorkath teleports in there. Uh, that brings our total up, however, to 18. Oh yeah, we got two Dragon Crossbows, which is 350 Rune Points each as well. Skirts are 7, play legs are 10, Gloves are 5. It's not a lot, but it adds up over time, I suppose. Yeah, pretty damn good. Oh, I love how the cannon didn't go to my inventory because I didn't technically leave the Mythic Zone.